There's the super fan. Guess we'll go talk to them, see what's up, and then we'll have to go back because, like I said, we gotta find out where the Hello, moon bucks went. What can I do for you? All right. Nothing else new for mom. Hello. Always great to see you. Can I help you? Please, please, please. Yeah. All right, go get them. Whoa. You're enjoying yourself, huh? Uh huh. All my favorite action heroes jam packed into one thrill ride. Oh. Sounds like a winner. Yeah. If only they'd make a movie about you and the citizens. Oh. I'd watch that in a heartbeat. Oh, there's a hint. We're gonna have a Citizens of Earth movie. Confirmed. Let's see what you spell, homeless guy. His tactics are unorthodox, faring best when at low hit points. He also has the ability to obtain money or items from your enemy. He is a support character with not a lot of direct damage potential. He excels at inflicting status elements and refreshing his allies. He also provides insurance to help protect the party. Can I, I? Again, I don't want a recruiter. We're way too close to the screen. And why aren't we in a car? Who authorized this operation? I actually would get into a car, but you know. All right, well, let's go back down south. Because just to verify again. We need to do going in circles. And going in circles is help. Oh, we have to help farmers sell the crop circle in order to, to find out where the moon bugs went. Ah, okay. All right. So we need to, where, who is it? I think it's the scientist who can change time. Well, but I don't know where the scientist is. Ah, damn it. All right, let me uh, look around a bit. All right, so I actually ran all the way back to the school to get my NPCs and then I thought, well, wait a minute. Maybe there's a very specific way you have to do it to take them out of school. So if you go talent, pick the teacher, and then he shows you this, then the you can take them out. I've got the blueprint for success. <sighs> Ooh, damn, she got a decent amount of levels. Nice. Graduation day. Oh, whoops. All right, so she's still got a little while. So that was a completely wasted trip. Um, I need to find the scientist. Oh, she's up here, I think. So we can make it nighttime. Because I think she's the one who makes it, can change the time of day. So we can make it night and then go back into whatever that place is called. Oh, I also checked my email. Nothing interesting. Basically, teacher telling you to do tutoring, architect to teach you to build things. Count counselor just came in. Greetings, danger scouts. I've made all your friends honorary scouts, which means if anyone doesn't like their camp name, I can do the name change ceremony with them. Name change ceremony. Never do science. Shh. Do you hear? What do you want to do? Oh, hmm. So does that, um... Do you hear? What do you want? Hmm, interesting. So that also seems to, like, fast forward time for the training as well? If so, that's pretty crazy. Let's... Where am I looking for? Take, some tutoring? take her out. Because, yeah, she had a while to go, I think. Damn. Nice. She got quite a few levels, so it might be worth it to put some of those, especially the lower level ones, back in there, maybe? Especially since now we know we can pop them out if we need to. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's... Eh, we'll wait. It is really annoying, though, knowing that every time you get a new hero, it's like, uh, if you don't have the yoga lady yet, you've got to get them to 20. That was just really, really, really badly designed. Let's go to this. Nope, not you. Nope. All right, I'm going to head back, and I'll see you guys once I get there. Okay, it's 7 o'clock, but they apparently don't count that as being night yet. So I'm going to come back here. Oh, here we go. Woo-wee, looks like there's a new vice sheriff in town and a whole lot of outlaws to boot. Stop them outlaws from escaping. 
Send your citizen posse charging after them before time runs out. Also, do not charge into your deputies wearing blue. That's not helpful. Now I'll draw. Okay. Wait. I'm gonna guess those guys are my deputies. Go! Get up! Charge! That's close enough. Get up! This is guesses to see just how charge! Oh, shit. Go! Charge! Well you can control your party. Charge! Sort of like uh, one of those old arcade shooter types, but a lot different. Go. Where the cops are the civilians. Go. Go. Oh, I guess them hitting us also Go. does not help. Go. Go. I'm trying to get up there. Charge. That cop's going to be in the Charge. damn way. Go. Nice. Get him. Charge. Oh, shit. Sorry, copper. Charge. You probably Charge. had it coming, though. This would be fair. Go. I bet you got a minute Go. left. Oh, barely got it. That buzzer. Get Go. I don't know if he got Get me him. or... Get him. Go. Charge. We're like Go. halfway to the goal, I think. Charge. Get him. Well, you can just turn Go. auto run on in this game. Go. There's like no time that I'd ever not want to run. Jesus, hit him! I really, really wish it would just go in the direction of your damn cursor. I don't know why they didn't do it that way. Like it's, it's the way your point, your direction you're going. It's weird. Get him! Get him! Go! Get him! Go! Get him! Damn, there's a ton of them now. <laughs> Go charge. get him! Charge! Ah, fucking charge. cop is in the way. Charge! Don't be charge. fraternizing with the get pe bad people. Wow, they really charge. fucked me on the score charge. just for hitting that one cop. Just because he was charge. in the damn way. Go. Asshole. I can't Go. even see what's over there. Charge! Get him! Go! Yaha! The movie's over. You stopped the outlaws, and that's how the West was won. That's pretty sure that's historically accurate. Whoa. What in the hell? Why are we here? Capitalism at its finest. Um, well, that's interesting that you decided to put me here. Um, I guess there's a cat cactus because, yeah, it sort of works. Oh, sweet. Oh, you can't get that dumpster? Come on. If that, if the whole point of, well, one of the big whole points of having the homeless guy with you is to loot dumpsters, then make it so I can loot all the dumpsters. Let's see what these cat cactuses are like. Or cactus. Catacus, because, ah, damn, I can't even say that. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and just blow him up. I'm going to guess this. Damn, he's got some uh, hit points on him. God damn, 24 hit points. Oh, so close. <laughs> we got damage for being sick and for help asking for help. Share all damage. Uh, you want to wrestle? Yeah. Take this cat this cat out. Watch out. Brother's about to level yet again. Damn, he's definitely got a lot of hit points. Holy hell. This should hopefully end it. <laughs> Just die, can I? Catacus, 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 catacus. God damn, that's hard to say. On the sky, 21. Did your brother not level up? Go ahead and save. That's so bizarre that it put us out here. I mean, I guess the idea was that you're in the movie, so therefore, when the movie over, movie is over, it puts you out here. But still weird. So let's head back up. Oh god, that snake looks really happy. I'd rather not fight both of them right now. Oh, what's this cactus gotta say? Just talk! Oh my god. 
I'm like, they're so fussy with what they consider you touching them so you can talk. Uh, that happens with items and shit, too. Um, let's go ahead and do that, I guess. His first aid is way better than Mom's Hug. It removes an ailment and it heals more, which granted... No, actually, I think it gives you... No, no, it does take that off. Oh, for God's sake, stop missing everything. Like, miss, miss, miss. Fucking knock it off. Impressive. Jesus. They have 34 damage and just barely moved it. Wow, that's kind of an asshole move to put you out here. Yeah. Because if you'd have done this earlier, you'd be way higher level. In this, or significantly higher level. <laughs> the cat has a little bell on, too. Nice. Using the desert as its own litter box. I don't even want to know what's coming out after that. This calls for a celebration. I knew I could do it. I'll talk to him for God's sake. These darn thorns, meow. I haven't had a cat bath in days. Yeah, I'd imagine that would probably make it very hard to lick yourself. All right, what do we got up here? Hopefully, this is Jesus. I also hate how hovering over stuff doesn't tell you what's there. How do we get out of this place? Oh, there's a road up there. So we went to the movies and ended up in the damn desert. Oh, hey. What's up? Capitalism at its finest. Charge. Oh, for God's sakes. Hello there, little... What do you need? What's going on here? Whoa. Did you make yourself an island hangout? Right. I've always wanted one of those. Should we build a fort, you think? Mm -hmm. Silly, silly man. Uh -oh. If this place floods, the hole will fill up. Mm -hmm. That will attract swimmers. That will need a lifeguard. Yes. But in the meantime, yes, we can build a fort. Sweet. At least he's being, I guess, uh, proactive. Because there, one day there might be swimmers here. So I'll get here set up ahead of time. Protect them. Good job. Dodgy stupid birds. Ah, here's the Forbidden Highway. How long is that? Good lord! God damn! Well, that's was kind of a off. -put. What the hell are you doing here? This heat's terrible. I know it's making my vision all wavy. I feel like a pastry in the oven. Why are you out here? Oh my god! Come on! Holy shit! This has been a huge pain in the ass just to go watch a movie. Like, put you way the hell out. God damn. There's not even anything in here. Hey, it's Firefire. Is there an emergency? Can I help you? Hmm. Well, this is a safety violation. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it, I swear. I was framed. Wait, what didn't I do? Uh -uh. It wasn't you, sir. It was some scofflaw. Uh -oh. These cars are blocking the fire hydrant. Uh -oh. The nerves of some people. Is there an emergency? Can I, 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 mean, I don't even want to... I don't even click recruit. We'll be fine. Probably uh, several trash cans that I've missed. I'm so used to just ignoring them now. Oh my god. Come on, run. Wait, you know what? What am I... Well, it doesn't matter. Well... Let me, uh... Get a car. Should've done that before. Wait, who's that? Conspiracy guy? Hey. Not really gonna bother with that, I keep getting distracted with side quests. I'd like to get the pilot though, so that we can actually, when crap like this happens, we can fast travel. These are random NPCs all over the place. There was the mascot. Jesus, finally back here. Let's see if the pilot's up here now. 833. Ugh, I hate not being able to check your shit while you're in the car. That's silly. Is she up here now? Because she said specifically to meet her at the drive-in. We are... And that's another movie. Yeah, we're not doing that again. So maybe you have to go through multiple of those to get her, I guess. I don't know. But we're definitely not doing it, I'll tell you that. Well, not right now, we're not doing it. 
Let's roll. Hopefully, 8.30 is considered night now, so that stuff will be happening at the... The crop circle stuff will be happening, so we can investigate that, see what's going on. Oh, God damn it. I just want to say, don't get out of the car. And then, when you get out of the car, he won't get back in, because he thinks it's stealing a car, even though it's the same damn car. On second thought... That, that we're on the road. Just give me the car. Let's roll. At least it's not a thing like, oh, you can't summon another car while you have one here. Oh, here's... Uh, that's just the teacher. Forget him. So I think the crop circle stuff will be over here, because that's where she was. How at night does it have to be? It's like 8.30. And I guess we could just stand around with our thumb up our asses until it's nighttime. I guess I'll wait around a bit and wait for some time to pass and see if stuff pops up. See you then. Oh. Okay, so this is happening, and I presume this probably has something to do with something. There's multiple cows. I'm hoping there's more of that rain down. So Weather Lady is very weird. We're going to take her out for the time being because she's very strange. Um, what did that say? Defeat the MUFOs. Ah, oh, wow. Wow, god damn it. Um, let's put the baker, because I don't know what's about to go down. Yay! Calm down, baker. Get him! Let's see what's going on Good with luck. you guys. A moo fo appears, Jesus. Uh, Alright, so you're going first. Does more damage if three hit points higher, yeah. Damn, son. Get wrecked. This calls for a celebration. Coffee grounds. That, of course, of course, a flying UFO cow would drop coffee grounds. Why wouldn't they? Uh, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna keep the baker in long enough for him to heal up the other people and then swap them back out. Get out of here, stupid hay bales. Hold on. Go. Yeah, get him. So yeah, she can. All her attacks are based on the type of weather that's going on, but she can also change the weather. Uh, it's this it looks really weird and interesting. So we'll definitely see what happens with her. Anyway, so we are gonna do this. You're gonna Charlie horse, and if he lives long enough to survive, he'll eventually heal. Ooh. Resistance to physical attack. But, still did a lot of damage, so resistance to physical. Which he says over here, but I just keep missing it. Alright, the quest was to kill all the cows, right? Get another email, weather lady. You know what's better than knowing the weather forecast? Being able to change the weather forecast. That's how they're right all the time. It's a government conspiracy. Get her and the conspiracy guy together. Or maybe we should not. Uh, what am I looking for? I totally don't know. Because it's raining, we probably should get the conspiracy guy in. Because he's got the electrical attacks. I completely forgot what I was going to do. God damn it. Brain, thanks. Get him! Good luck! Bring in that extra hit points. That's fine. Go ahead and get the X. Well, no, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to try to take these guys down quickly. You are going second. So let's take, bring that MUFO down. And Baker. Damn. Going to make a mess. Nice. Damn, 89 damage. Good lord, that's so nice. And you've got other NPCs can who can like buff up the next attack of the enemies. Shit's crazy. It's cray cray. School mascot. I just want you to have more energy for next time. Same kind of goes for you as well, Baker. Nice. Definitely doesn't hurt to get the Baker some XP. He's a nice, really good healer buffer to have in the group. 
All right, that's right. We're checking the quest. That is going in circles. Oh, well, well, screw it. I'm pretty sure that's what we want us to do. So we're fine. I'm gonna have to clear some of this shit out. I think. Here's one. Get him! Oh, come on. There we go. What? I totally right. surprised that cow. Here we go. What level is the baker? I don't even know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're going first. So you just do a regular attack, and that'll probably be all she wrote. I've got your back, bro. Wait, what? Wait, what did I do? Exploits a weakness. Alright, well, whatever. For the VP. Moo FO, Jesus. Still. Alright, where are you at? Oh, for God's sakes. Let me clear out some of this crap so it's not filling Don't up my minimap. Alright, found some more. Go! Ah, come on. Get him! Nice. Also, double clicking, what we were talking about before, I wish you could just have them go wherever you're you're pointing the mouse cursor. A way around that is instead of hitting spacebar to send them double click and then it'll go where your cursor is. Uh the school school mascot. I brought in conspiracy guy just so we could learn his abilities. Uh let's see if he can do it fast enough, we'll find out. And you will expose. <laughs> Unleashes a moo at conspiracy guy with the force of a sonic blast. Of course he did. Yes. You're not gonna get the chance. Nope. Bye bye, cow. Never doubted you for a second. There's another one in this field as well. Unfortunately, there's a lot of scarecrows in this field as well. Uh, these are stationary though, so that's kind of nice. Not all of them are though. Oh god, the cow has a little butthole. Isn't that great? Little X butthole. There we go. Got a nice sneak attack. Work, everyone. So we will again swagger. Do a regular attack. Unmask the conspiracy of the Calafos. Utters utterly probe the citizens. This calls for a damn distraction. Nice. Alright, move, move sign, please. Let's go this way, because this is the area that I've already cleared. And, just to make double sure. Let's roll. Hitting enemies with your car auto-kills them, but it only gives like one experience, but I can live with that. I still don't know how to... What? No. I still don't know how to get out of the car. It's gonna hit escape and other keys until she finally, hey, she finally gets out. Let's, what can I do you for? I think I got to the bottom of the crop circles. You don't say. Actually, yes, I do say. You see, it's the cows. Technically, you, you cow folks. Cows? Child, this ain't a dairy farm. Well, they come out of one of your grain silos. But I don't keep no cows in my grain silos. This particular grain silo blasted off afterwards. We didn't ever see that, by the way. Blasted off? Well, where in Tarnation 2? Don't know. Northwestish. You mean Appleton? What's that? It's a farm just north of your hometown. Mm. I thought you grew up in that area. I didn't do much exploring. I can tell you ain't the outdoorsy type. Well, that farm's been there for generations. You gotta stop those cows. <laughs> so is she in the party now, I presume? Let's see if I can not miss her. I don't see her. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and bring her on now and just, like I say, off camera, do some grinding, but god, it, like every person we had makes it so much worse. Alright, let's see. How many do we have right now that are under 20? The cop. The architect is way lower. Teacher. Car salesman. Weather lady. So, god, five of them. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna wait to hire her. Because I feel like I could probably level them up at a semi-decent rate with a combination of school and... Speaking of... 
combination of school and the VR thing. Anyway, I think I'll stop here for now. Uh, what I'll probably do now is just go again, kind of grind a little bit more for another 30 minutes, hour or so. See if I can't get them up to, to level 20 so we can grab that damn yoga instructor and then not have to worry about getting more people. But anyway, thank you guys for continuing to watch this series. Still enjoying it. There's definitely some little mini, like small things that are very annoying. Uh, but uh, overall, I'm still liking this game a lot. Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys are as well. Thanks again to Russ for his continued support on Patreon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, real quick, I was just farming, and I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, it's working out pretty well. Uh, so basically, you know, obviously one of the best things to do as far as farming XP is to have the mascot for the XP bonus, and then the photographer to duplicate, because remember, when she duplicates an enemy, she duplicates them at their current hit points and any buffs or debuffs that they have. So I've kind of got a perfect storm situation here with these guys. They actually give a lot of hit points, and they're weak against uh, vocal, which is... Uh, really cool and I found a really good combination of things to do and I'm not really going to show it here but one thing the architect can do is prevent a, a targeted ally from dying basically it leaves him at one hit point and the mascot has that AE pain train which does one vocal uh, damage to all the enemies but he takes 50% recoil now because of that that means he takes a ton of damage but if you put her on him protecting him he can put out a ton of damage uh, very quickly. I could also see having Mom in the party to also double his attacks, uh, doing some insane damage against anything that's weak against Vocal. But anyway, so we got three enemies here, and you can't really see them because the UI could use some tweaking. But, um, so what we're gonna try to, you're trying to avoid doing any damage to them at all, which is kind of silly because you can't, like, skip turns, which I never quite understood that. Uh, but let's go ahead and... Oh, I've been doing this. I've been doing the aggravate. Causes agility down and blind. And let's see, you are going to duplicate this enemy on the right because you've got even less hit points. Architect, again, she's been kind of trying to avoid doing any kind of physical damage. So she's just doing a weak physical damage to whichever one is at the end. And then I duplicate that one so it has even less hit points. So now you can see we got to duplicate. We got four of these guys with really low hit points, blind and slow. Uh, they're still hitting pretty well, considering. But um, yeah, so at this point, there's not really a lot he can do. I guess he could steal the architects. So yeah, you take her stuff. You're going to duplicate again. This guy, who's super low. You're going first. So we don't want to do anything that damage. Target will survive all attacks. Uh, go ahead and just block him, just because. No real reason. So now we got this, these four. But again, they're very, very low hit points, uh, and they're debuffed all the hell and back. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and finish these guys off. Uh, I'm sure I could do this forever, but I kind of want the payoff at this point. So, but... Let's do this. First, let me make sure I did this. I don't remember if I did this or not. So just to be sure, we're going to rouse the troops. Now, her other darkroom ability is Snapshot. Super weak physical attack. Receive XP bonus if target defeated. Now, I don't know if that means just for her or for the whole party. Let's hope it's the whole party and have her attack the guy on the end. She's always the last, though. That's really annoying. Uh, the Architect. Go ahead and do a weak physical attack on this one. He's the strongest. Ah, damn it. So yeah, you have to get them super low to really get full advantage of that. Alright. Um, you go ahead and... Oh, damn it, he doesn't have any energy, of course. Um, I kind of want to get that one in there. Let's do the aggravate. Oh, he doesn't have any freaking mana. And of course, the only way he can get mana is doing mana attacks. Even this weak physical attack, physical attack would definitely kill them all. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Just finish them off. Well, actually, she goes before him, so maybe she'll actually get this attack in. You do weak physical attack against... Sure, this one. As long as she doesn't get killed. 
Oh, there she goes. Wait, why did she go first? Or why did he go first? All those children dying. It's like Crystal Lake in Veneer. Architect's already 18. And I haven't been doing this that long. Ugh, of course, and she missed. Really? Like, come on. Yeah, she was ahead of him in the order. I don't quite understand that, but whatever. Try it again. Try not to miss this time. Ugh, lame as hell. Uh, go ahead and actually... You're gonna do Foundation. Target will survive all attacks with at least one hit point remaining for three rounds. Uh, too many hit points. Oh, and she had two left, of course. Butthole. Another victory for the VP. Nice. I've got the blue. Sweet. <laughs> yes. Nice. Wow. Damn, she got another half a, over half a level. Damn. So yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. Get him in the group for the XP bonus, and her for duplicate. And especially those enemies seems to be really good because this is a really good combination. Because like I said, when he can do that AE voice attack that damages himself. Like, he does a lot of damage, so he can wipe them out if it gets too crazy. Um, and, you know, like I say, getting them all low hit points makes you can just, you know, chip them off really quick. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll probably either... I might keep doing this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Later.